welcome to the next episode of What's Happening with Layla. And wow, there is quite a bit going on this week that we are going to talk about. We are going to talk about a new expansion. We're going to talk about two free DLCs. We're going to talk about a draft challenge. Oh my goodness, so much to talk about. I'm so excited. Hope you guys are as well. If you are watching this live on Twitch, feel free to leave some comments in the chat. If you are watching on YouTube, feel free to leave me down some comments below and I'll make sure that I answer for you the best that I can. So the first thing we're going to talk about, the biggest news this week is, of course, version 1.10 is out, saving Jade Spark Jungle. Now, just like I always do, any of the links that I have here, I'm going to make sure are down below. So you're going to have a link to the blog, you'll have a link to the free DLCs, all right? And so let's get started. What's the first thing that we're talking about here is a brand new adventure mode. If you were a fan of the first adventure mode for Quest for Mountain Shaper, you're getting pretty much a very similar experience here, but of course, new masters, new mechanics, new cards. So this is going to be a very fun PVE kind of content for you, all right? Very different from the PVP you might be used to already, but brand new story. Build your deck as you go. Six masters, relics and treasures, rewards, and the price, just like last time, chapter one is going to be free. Chapters two and three will cost 1,400 rubies together or a 1,000 individually. So that'll be up to you how much you want. And it's all replayable content. So you could play the adventure mode as many times as you want. This new expansion also comes with 10 new cards. As you see, we have Jade Flingers, Ting Tang Tong, High Inquisitor Ardera, Brother of the Burning Fist, Windwalker Shi Ho, Arden Aegis, Smite, Shen's Shock Stick, Jahoon Keeper of Jade Spark, and Jade Spark Watchers. Now, all of these cards have been on the website. They've all been being released slowly as we've been going along. So I'm not really going to take time to go over them right now, but you definitely can connect and look at some of my other videos that I have done or check out the website yourself. Also, if you get into the game, you can already check the cards out because, again, it is live. New mechanics. We have Growth Burst Shroom and Holy Fire. And I gotta say, from watching the dev stream, I really like what they did with the Holy Fire, and it does look very, very nice in game, so I'm very impressed. This expansion will last until May. And just like we had talked about before, if you had watched my other videos, is that there's two new skins that have been released. You have one for Setsu, which is Setsu for the Burning Fist, and the second one is for Apex. It's an Apex Ravager. And there's also a brand new legendary arena. It's Jade Spark Jungle, and it's very pretty. They did a really, really nice job with it. So this is already live and in the game. Now, here's the part a lot of people have been talking about is the nerfs and balance changes. The last video I did last week I talked about what came up on the dev stream. So now everybody wants to know what did they keep? Did anything change? So let's check it out. Arcane Ring stayed the same with a damage reduction. It actually shows you the damage reduction here too, which is really nice. Black Hole was the big one that everybody's been talking about. And what's really good is that the devs gave their response pretty lengthy too for the reason why they decided to nerf Black Hole. But yes, the duration for Black Hole is going from six seconds down to one and a half. And minions will keep their original target from before they were affected. So feel free to read this. But it seems like from what the devs are saying is they feel like Black Hole has been too powerful for too long. And they feel that this balances it better. In a nutshell, that's what they feel like. This is done. Bridge Shride health has increased from 300 to 350. Caber Tosser damage increase from 80 to 90. Crossbow Guild, the health increase from 400 to 450. High Mage Alelio, they kept all the changes that they were going to make for her. With the damage increase, attack speed decreased, and she has an AoE attack of the Crystal Arcanist. Lelio's Vortex, they kept a change as well. Mana freeze is dropping now to one mana, and damage is going to be reduced to 80. Morgul the Swarmer King, they also kept all the changes and added in the reason is to consolidate Morgul's stats with Elite Swarmer, as a lot of people were confused why they made the change that they did. Red Golem, same thing, it hadn't changed. This stayed the same from what the devs have said. And Spawn of Fury, for what it seems like, not only was Spawn of Fury fixed, the bug that had happened, but it seems that this nerf has also stayed as well. 
Swarmer totem production speed increased from seven to six, wall health increased from 600 to 700, and woodsman damage increased from 80 to 90. Now, was that all of the changes from the dev stream? It actually wasn't. There was one change that did not stay and it happened to be for Lord Sentinel Felic. In the dev stream, they talked about decreasing his damage from 70 to 55. And in the expansion patch, they decided not to go with that. So this change has been scrapped. And as of now, there has been no change to Lord Sentinel Felic from what you had seen on the dev stream and from my previous video. And there are other bugs. Looks like there's other small bugs that have been fixed, with the big one again being they fixed the Spawn of Fury issue right here. So that's probably one of the biggest issues that they had had that they fixed. This is all the nerfs, the buffs, and everything that's going on in game right now. So make sure you guys log in and check that out. And again, like I said, there's two free DLCs. So let's check it out. The first one is, as you guys know, every expansion, there is an expansion related DLC. So right now we have Zealous Inferno. Now this one is 100% off, but only for a couple days. It's going to be 100% off until March 9th. And this happens to be the Steam store. From what I did see on Twitter, there is one for Xbox as well. So down below, I'll make sure that I link for Steam and for Xbox for you to be able to get your free DLC. Now, what's in this DLC? So let's check it out. Zealous Inferno is the faction box for starting or expanding your Empyrean faction collection. So it looks like you're going to get Kalith Donhammer, Sunburn, Bannerman, Brother of the Burning Fist, which personally I'm excited. If there's any card I really, really want in this expansion, it's Brother of the Burning Fist. Legionnaires, Power Tokens, and you get in a legendary Empyrean avatar and a legendary Empyrean emote, which look like these. So it looks like Ardera, which by the way, it looks like they redid the art on Ardera and I love this so much better than the original artwork on Ardera. I think this is just beautiful. I love it. And this, this is cute. I, I don't know, this is adorable. This little waving banner man. So this is going to be the first free DLC is going to be Zealous Inferno and you're going to be able to get it for free, but only for a couple days. And it's going to be available on Steam and on Xbox. The next DLC is going to be Might of the Slither Lords. And this one is going to be free on Twitch Prime. It's going to be good until May 5th. And it's literally as easy as clicking get the code, which I'm not going to do that right now live but make sure you grab this if you have a Twitch Prime. I'm already seeing a lot of people that don't play the game that are giving their codes away or people that are just sharing with their friends, for example. So it seems like there'll be a lot of opportunities to be able to grab this free DLC as well. The last thing we're gonna talk about, like I had mentioned, is there is a draft challenge coming up. So we are going to take a look at that. And what this is, this is called a streamer draft challenge and as you can see right here is it's going to be from friday to sunday there's going to be more information available because this is going to be streamers only if you are not in the minion master discord make sure that you are again i will link that and make sure you hit up with the streamer channel but it's going to be a draft mode challenge for streamers there are obviously going to be rules there's going to be a bunch of different prizes and like it says in the bottom, you're allowed to retry the challenge as many times as you want. It's easy to participate as long as you have it recorded so that you can show documentation that you did the draft mode and that you followed all of the rules. But I also did see that depending on how well this does, they're looking at implementing a fun community version as well too. This one is just specifically for streamers and it's going to be this weekend, okay? Guys, thanks so much for checking this out. Let me know what are you most excited about? I mean, like I said, there's a lot going on this week. There's a lot. And I already know a lot of people already delving into the game and they're having a blast and just having so much fun with the new cards. And it's gonna be interesting to see the draft challenge as well too. So let me know what you guys think. Leave some comments down below. If you guys enjoy this content, I really, really would appreciate it. If you told me what you thought, you know, give me a thumbs up. Be like, hey, Laylee, are you doing a great Great job. I like this content. Maybe consider subscribing on 
YouTube. It's free. Maybe share with your friends. All that stuff lets me know that you appreciate this content, you get value from it, and that you want to continue seeing this. Because honestly, I'm having a lot of fun with this What's Happening series. I think it's important to keep everybody up to date on what's going on in the Mini Masters community because there is usually a lot going on. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our video, you can catch us live on twitch.tv slash Nation four days a week on Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on by and be part of our community and we'll see you there.